Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video is going to be my monthly haul. So this is everything that I picked up throughout the month of May and we're gonna start off with the most boring thing but one of the most vital. I picked up three of the Marcel Gentle Makeup Remover for Sensitive Eyes. I have mentioned this so much over the years but it's a bi-phase makeup remover so there is oil in here. This is the best thing on the market so I always pick up a whole bunch whenever I see a good deal. And currently, um, well.ca had the best deal online to buy these. They weren't on sale, they just happened to be cheaper than if I bought them in stores, so I picked up three of them. The next three items are very exciting for me, but I'm pretty sure nobody else is gonna care about this. I got three of Mary Kay's new blue nail polishes. Now, this is my absolute favorite nail polish color ever, and it's not made anymore. So it was limited edition for spring last year and now it's all gone. So I put out a plea to my beauty blogging friends and was like, does anybody have this nail polish? Cause I've gone through a bottle and a half and I'm almost done. And I don't know what I'm gonna do when I don't have this color anymore. So three friends had this shade. So the first one came to me from Sarah who used to have a beauty blog and she mailed it to me from BC. Bless her heart. <laughs> And she also sent along three other polishes that, that she thought were pretty close in color. Now, fundamentally, I can see why she thought that they were close, but they're not the same as this one. So the first one is definitely the closest and it's by Sally Hansen and it's Breezy Blue. So they're pretty close, but this one actually has a shimmer finish and this one has just a cream finish. The next one was Color Clubs it does not have an actual name. Okay, never mind. It's just a very similar blue green color. I would say this is more blue though. And the other one is one by Essence, which I actually think I have. It's that's what I mint. So this one is slightly more mint than this one. It's funny how undupable this color seems to be though. Like I've had a lot of people showing me this color in swatches, which is harder to see on Instagram, but like in person, I have not found this color in another brand anywhere. The next one I got from Mel from I'm Not a Beauty Guru. That's her blog, I will link that down below. And the last one was from Sam of Samantha Jane on YouTube. And she also gave me a bunch of other products which I'll get to into. But I like, I am so excited to have three of these because I go through this color so fast. It's my absolute favorite. So Sam was doing a bunch of decluttering of products that she wouldn't use, didn't work for her, etc. So I got Mary Kay's New Blue and then she handed over a Pop Peak Performance Brow in the shade Taupe slash Blonde. So I'll be giving this one a shot. And then there was a Stila liquid glitter that she offered up and it's one that I don't have, which is amazing. So this is a smoldering satin. It's a little bit more of a, uh, I'd say like a brown taupe with silver glitter. And while she was decluttering, she kept asking me things and I was like, anything that's a glitter is fine. So she gave me four of the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liners and I don't have these kinds of colors in a liner. I might have the silver, but none of these other ones. This is like a pale pink, um, it's funny, it looks pink overall, but there's red and silver flecks in here. This one's called Cat Call. The silver is called Glam Rock. And then this one here is called Spandex. And this is like a blue with rainbow glitter in it. And the last one is Sticks and Bones. And it's more of a purple with um, gold and silver glitter in it. And the last few items are from a Sephora order I placed whenever the Kat Von D 10th anniversary collection launched because I knew I wanted to get that palette. Now I have a review going up on it soon, so um, I won't spoil too much of that, but I had to get this palette because it's basically a rainbow palette. So the packaging is actually drawn by Kat Von D. She did do this design and she previewed it like months and months ago. I don't think anybody actually knew what it was for but it was for the 10th anniversary palette and like, you know why I got this. <laughs> it's a rainbow of shades and I've had a lot of people asking me if it's the same as the Mi Vida Loca Remix palette. The colors, I kind of see why people are asking that, but they're not really the same. I mean, just because they're both rainbow palettes doesn't necessarily mean that the shades are gonna be the exact same. I feel like the shades in here are a little bit more, I think I wanna say mature. I wanna say like they're a little bit more developed in terms of color tone. They're not all just like bright shades. There's some more like dimension to them. 
So I'm really excited by this palette because it's a really good, dare I say, travel palette. I'm so sick of that term. Like we overuse that in the beauty community when people really just don't travel that much in life. Like even if you're gone like a few times a year, you don't need that many travel palettes really. But you know, that being said, I often struggle when I go on vacation and I wanna bring a palette that's bright, but it's compact enough. And this is actually one of those. It's got a huge mirror. It's got a ton of shades in here and it's got enough like, you know, neutral colors to make me happy as well. This could potentially be the perfect travel palette. There's a ton of variety in the finishes in here. There's way more mattes than there is um, shimmer shadows, which makes me really happy. And the matte shades in here make sense. They tend to be deeper tones, which really makes me happy because I'll put a deeper matte shade on the outer corner and leave something like, you know, lighter and shimmery for the lid. So I really like the layout of this palette. I like the compactness and you know, <laughs> It's really making me sad that this is a limited edition palette. So once these are gone, they're gone and she doesn't tend to bring back collections. So if you want this, I would go ahead and get it because like you don't know how long this is gonna be around for. And I think I just said that the review video would be up after I've done this haul video. That's not true. The review video is going to be going up before this video. So I will link it down below and in the cards. In that same Sephora order with the palette, I also got this other one by Smashbox. Now I had no warning about this particular palette. I feel like I never saw it previewed anywhere. It wasn't sneak peek. No one's talking about this, but Angie mentioned it on one of her new release videos on what she wants to buy and whatnot. And I was like, how come no one is talking about this? So this is part of Smashbox cover shot palettes, which are the smaller ones at a reduced price point, which I think is fantastic. We don't need these enormous palettes that people keep coming out with. And I have to say, I'm not impressed that they didn't change the front packaging because they've got this pretty little thing. Why is this one so boring? Anyway, take a look at this palette. I mean, it's a lot of pink, which is not necessarily me, but there's a variety in here that is unexpected from Smashbox and pretty much unexpected from a lot of brands right now. A lot of people aren't putting out colorful palettes that have a story that doesn't involve neutral colors. I mean, fundamentally, you could argue that this pink down here and this sort of champagne shade are neutral, and yes, they are, but the rest of it is pretty bold and almost verging on neon. I wish there was a little bit more than the one mint green shade, but I am impressed and I don't know why no one has mentioned this palette before. I think it's so much fun and I can't wait to play around with it. And I really wish that brands released more palettes like this, not only from the color perspective, but also in the sense where we don't always need enormous palettes that cost 70 bucks. Give us something smaller like this that's half the price of those $70 palettes. I think this is only $35 and that's, you know, actually reasonable. So I'm really impressed with this. I haven't played with it yet, but I am eager to dive into it. And the last few items in that Sephora order are actually like point perks or like coupon codes, which is a huge surprise to me. Every time I'm looking at Sephora's points to reward, I am always disappointed because they're always sold out. And I know they have more selection in the US, but the Canada side of things is pathetic. I have like 2000 points that I've been accumulating for I don't know how many years at this point, and I can't get anything. So I was surprised that these were actually like decent, but they're only like 100 point perks, so it's not like anything massive. The first one here is by Marc Jacobs and it's a highlighter gel eye crayon. I've bought this before with my points. This is so, so good. And it was only a 100 point perk, which is I think is fantastic considering that this pencil, I think at full size is like $40. So I'm not gonna open it because I'm using another black pencil right now and I don't want it to start drying out, but this is great, especially for the waterline. It's the pretty much only thing I think that doesn't really wear off at all on my waterline. So I highly recommend this. Another great point perk, this was 100 points for the Bosha Charcoal Pour Pudding. And I really think that this is neat because it's got like the two different like swirled together colors. So really I'm just into this because it looks neat, but this is a decent size for hundred points. And I am curious to try it out, but not so much so that I want to go ahead and just buy the full version. So I'm glad that I got like the mini size for, you know, hundred points. And the next point perk is also hundred points and also by Bosha. It's their luminizing black mask. And this one's a peel off. I love this one. I think there's so much fun to use. There's something really satisfying about just ripping that layer off of your skin. 
I don't necessarily notice a huge amount of change using these masks, but I do really enjoy using them, so I'll pick them up whenever I've got the points. The last item was, I think, one of those codes that you put in and you get a free item. Um, and this one is kind of strange to me. Uh, this is the It Cosmetics Brow Power in the Universal Shade. They only make one shade. And it's weird to me because I just bought this during the Sephora VIB sale. Uh, the same size, I paid $13 I think it was for the deluxe size. So I'm just kind of like, why were you free with a code? Because while it is a deluxe size sample, it's still pretty substantial. It's half the size of a regular eyebrow pencil and I'm just kind of surprised that they offered it for free. Anyway, I'm not mad about it. I'm more than happy to have another backup of this pencil because I think it's fantastic, but I was just so surprised they were offering it up with a coupon code. So that is it for my monthly haul. That's everything I got during the month of May. Let me know if you picked up anything exciting in the last month and I will see you in the next video. Bye.